The, the Balin of Malaya in the district uh, is 37, between 37 and 39 percent of OPP over the last probably five years. Uh, when we distributed the nets about two years ago, we had uh, burden of malaria under five dropping from 37 to 35.5. And we were not sure this is only the nets, probably there was something else, but remember the nets were targeting the children under five and uh, the pregnant women during distribution and the households in general. Uh, over the last year, there has been a slight increase, but probably because we lacked medication. Uh, but then uh, the distribution part of the net two years ago was a very exciting period because it was a campaign and everybody got involved and and the, the educators who are the community medicine distributors, the distributors of the net really did a great job. And then later when you came over to check if they were using the nets, I, I was very excited because I, have not, I had not seen the results yet, but uh, interestingly that Australian gentleman, was the Australian, who came over to assist with that exercise, uh, asked us to move around and asked us to look for those that had the net. And it was actually more difficult to trace those that had lost the net. So that for me that was exciting because if they are really retaining the nets and they're using them, the nets were up, I knew my job was done. We were not sure who, who sponsored this round of nets, but as you are aware, last year the Ministry of Health uh, was looking for people, bidders, to supply uh, millions of nets. So was it seven million over two years? So we probably were hoping to get those. And considering that the drug supply is irregular, we have had to resort back to... We were doing prevention, but we have had to lay more emphasis on prevention through radio programs, uh, radio talks and probably announcements, because right now the whole country is constrained by lack of uh, chemotherapy or medications. Uh, now, if we get more nets, it will definitely be a very big relief because two years later, it will be very interesting to find out how many households, what is the household coverage. And uh, if we can do that and if we can get another boost this year, it would be great. Uh, IEC BCC is, uh, of course, an integral part of control because we always have regular radio talk shows, but that will depend on sponsors and on which programs are sponsoring them. We do not have those free shows anymore. Uh, we liked the stickers, the old stickers, the malaria is unacceptable, something like that. I, I got that somewhere. Uh, but th we don't get a lot of those. We get some treatment charts with the new uh, treatment guidelines. We do not have a lot of posters regarding prevention at the moment, except the, the really old ones. So the main channel is radio, and it is uh, maybe a few stickers that are coming up through various uh, social marketing groups. Uh, and that's it for the moment. Mm -hmm. Mainly community leaders, when they come over here, uh, because sometimes actually they nickname me malaria because I do a lot of malaria work, they always ask, when are we getting more nets? When do we get more nets? When do we get more nets? And you, you, you don't seem to, sometimes I think they can't get enough of the nets. But it is interesting that we have created demand because even though these nets were given out for free, those that used them tended to buy some nets. The, the sales went up. So this distribution of nets did not in any way curtail uh, the private sector. It, it boosted it because if someone has used a net, then they tend to use it more. Rather than someone who has never ever had or, or touched a net. Those are a bit difficult to talk to. But then the ones that have used them are doing a better job. Well, I wouldn't say a lot is being done. The only thing we are trying to do is assisting with possibly the distribution channels. Because they come here, get clearance letters, then we, we back them to move around with their vans and promote. And uh, also, if w the people like UHMG, and uh, uh, that is UHMG Afford and PSI, when they come over with their net programs, we do the best that we can. We bring together the, the drug shop owners that sell the net, the distributors, and we have four here, at least once a year and they talk to them about their products. That, that is basically what we are doing to assist with the private sector. But with regard to national level, I'm not so sure. Quality control is pretty tough, because right now we've got a lot of nets coming in across the Kenyan border. See the old untreated nets uh, in the market. They are those little flimsy nets and they are not the exact quality. 
but uh, people have learned about the early lines but remember if these are coming in and in large quantities if you go down to the market you see large quantities of those films in it this means there's still demand otherwise they will not be here but also interestingly is that uh, much as i'm not very sure about how they get those nets there are those kenyan nets uh, the green ones they are all over the place and they cost uh, six thousand and they are treated long-lasting nets so that, that that also shows that the demand for the long-lasting insecticide treated nets is up but we cannot regulate the quality at the moment that would maybe go with national drug authority and unbs